Okay, we back for our reading. <laughs> Keisha. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, right, let me put my uh so I'm doing full moon readings. I believe we got a full moon in Taurus. Is it a full moon in Taurus? That's all say it. <laughs> That's how you know I've been busy. I haven't been able to do a lot of stuff. Damn it. A mosquito bit me. All right, so I have room if you want to get a reading done tonight. My cash up is pent at the bottom. I know I got Queen Kells on here. Um, and I have um, uh, a Nev piece is the name. So I don't know if she's on here yet. I didn't see her chime in. Um, Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and get started with these readings. Hi. I've been so all over the place this week because both of the boys' birthdays are this weekend. Well, Sunday and Monday. I have one child that's always that's born on the portal <laughs> on that 11 11 portal which is interesting because he was born on the 11 11 portal and he's a projector um my uh i guess i would call him my stepson he uh is born on the 11 11 portal and he is also a projector so i find that very interesting um that they're born on those major uh, universal portals is it too late to get a reading no you can get one um y'all already know the routine cash app is pent at the bottom i'm starting with queen kells and then if a nev comes on here i don't see her yet then we will do her your taurus and a projector when's your birthday b When is your birthday? <clears throat> we are doing readings. Whew. Running behind. I got caught out there in that mall traffic. I stay literally right behind the mall. 510. Oh, that's a that's a, a, a interesting synchronicity number two. Was born on January 8th. What are you? I don't know. We would have to put it in the um their website. Kels, you got me flipping cards everywhere. What's going on, boo? <laughs> um my body graph. I think it's mybodygraph.com. If you put your infant birth information in there, it'll give you what type, what human design you are. If you put it in mybodygraph.com or if you Google human design chart, the websites that are connected to those will come up. All right. This is for Queen Kells. The first card that came out, beloved, is the Crossroads card, but it is connected to your past. So making decisions that are um, connected to past energies um, are really important. Possibly even choosing to leave things behind that were connected to your past. Okay. Choosing to move forward, choosing to um, make choices that are different than what you've made in the past dynamics. But whatever it is, it's definitely going to be a pivotal moment. We know this is the, the, the road, the real road. <laughs> okay. And as we enter those real crossroads, um, this is a number three year, so it's a major year anyway. Um, 
it ends up being decisions that we look back years from now and say, hmm, that's when my life started shifting. That's when things started to change. As you make these decisions, you are rebuilding your foundation. So it's the Ace of Earth. And the Ace of Earth is all about creating a stronger foundation that not only helps us, but it helps the generations that come after us. So this is all about transitioning into how am I restructuring my foundation, putting my foundation in a aspect that is going to be more beneficial, but not right now, but forever. All right. So forever happiness, forever, ever. How do we get to that during this full moon for you beloved it's about visualization it is about you really seeing in your mind yourself releasing what's old okay and embracing what is new releasing what is old so seeing yourself walking away from certain dynamics seeing yourself walking into your new abundance your new life your new whatever it is that you are wanting to manifest seeing it visualize it understand it feel it all the emotions that you need to make that manifest let's see what your crystal card is it's 2020 a special year absolutely 2020 gonna be a powerful year 2020 is going to be a very powerful year coming after this number three year. There is a lot of portals that open up next year. Um, so it's going to be an amazing opportunity for a lot of us. Um, if you've been doing the work previous to now. Okay. Mukite Gasper, Jasper, the Jasper stone. Are you a believer in miracles? Are you ready to access the known and the unknown? Mm -hmm. open your heart to experience grace offer blessings to everyone with whom you interact be a divine assistant and provide regenerative energy and holiness to yourselves and others um neem baba is the actual mystic or saint on the back and it says with increasing love miracles manifest all around me i share unconditional love through service to others i believe in the power of love i remember my true nature and share these blessings with love of love with all i serve others through love joy laughter i am love okay so be in a Space that you are embracing who you naturally are number one but know that you are able to receive miracles not only in the scene which is the physical dimension but in the metaphysical um like i said i need you to visualize because your power of sight is going to be heightened at this moment in time so you need to visualize yourself walking away from the things that you know that don't serve you but also walking into the things that are going to be amazing for you all right i'll say let me breathe <laughs> i say um i'm trying to see a nev peace are you on here yet i hope I i'm saying that right a nev peace are you on here One, I shy, I shy, I shy, I shy. One and done. Let me go ahead and do you right now. You're welcome. You are welcome. All right. Oh, that's interesting. I don't have no more messages for her. All right. All right. <clears throat> the let go card comes out. 
A let go card is telling you that whatever you are holding on to, you need to let that shit go. <laughs> But in particular, you need to be in a space that you are paying attention to any negative energy, anything that is creating a stagnant um, motion, a stagnant um, energy in your life. Be in a space that you are releasing what this is. Be in a space that you start to allow this energy to move through, go where it needs to go so you can stand in your power, so you can actually operate and what is coming to you, specifically things that are connected to your past. The other thing about the let go card is about not forcing things, not trying to be in control of it, not trying to be in a space that you are allowing yourself to hold on to things that you know no longer serve you. But not even um, the other part is not controlling, not being too controlling. Sometimes we like to manipulate or put our own energy into something that we want to see come into fruition. You're not supposed to do that at this moment in time. They're telling you that the hope and whatever it is that you've asked for, things that you might have been um, already putting in the works as far as intention setting, it's on the way. You got to keep hope alive. You got to be in a space that you are operating in your um, higher self. Okay. This is about operating in a positive mental attitude. The guardian card comes up and the guardian card is always about our angels and our ancestors aligning everything and telling you that you're not alone in this journey by yourself. You're not by yourself. So quit acting like you by yourself. Quit feeling like you got to do everything by yourself. Quit being that independent. <laughs> this is a time frame where you got to trust and know that your ancestors and your spirit guides got your back. They own, they own it. They are lining it. They putting everything in the works. Are you ready for it? Are you prepared for it? And are you surrendering to what the universe is going to do for you? And that's what your key goal is for this whole full moon. Surrender. Take your hands off the steering wheel. It ain't yours. We taking your steering wheel. We give it. Give me your driver's license. Your license just got revoked. Okay. This is a time frame where you need to surrender during this. Okay, surrender so during this and make sure that you are allowing them to do their work. This ain't in your hands, okay? Ooh. See what your crystal card says. Mm -hmm. Amethyst Druzy. I just bought an amethyst today. I just bought one. Amethyst Druzy. It says, do you remember your connection with the great spirit? <laughs> Are you reaching out in prayer asking for help? Help. Amplify your loving prayers and focused intentions for personal and planetary peace. Now is the time to set an intention to align with the divine through meditation guided imagery or prayer the white buff buffalo calf woman is the mystic on the back it says i am one with all that is i am tuned in to the forces of the universe prayer is a regular part of my daily life i easily access wisdom and knowledge from the ancestors who have walked before me okay let them do their job <laughs> stop Stop thinking that you are walking this journey by yourself. Let them do their job. This is definitely the time where you do not um, need to interfere. Let them do their job. They're very intentional on how they do it. I am. I'll post it on uh, YouTube. I've been posting everything on YouTube. So if you've been missing the... The readings or you want to go back to any of your readings and you've gotten a reading from me before um you can go to youtube i have been posting them over the last week or two all right um a nav piece are you on here hmm let me go through see who i missed Mm -mm. Let me go ahead and do you, B. 
since we on here. Peace, DJ Rastafari. <laughs> yes, it's working again. I done figured it out. Yep, we got to get that scheduled in. Hopefully, I can get everybody back in starting on Wednesday of next week. I think I got something scheduled for Tuesday, too. All right. No, if you want a reading, my um, cash app is at the bottom. Drop your donation and we'll get it popping, boo. What time is it? We got about 30 minutes. So after I probably, yeah, about 30 minutes. So I could get about three more people, maybe. Three more people. If you would like a reading. I'll probably get like three more people. <laughs> you always got a lot of interesting cards, B. Peace, beloved. Peace, 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 peace. Um, we're going to go with this side because there's a lot of water energy. First card that came up for you, B, is the guardian card. Always knowing that your spirit guides are in cahoots, okay, with you. Knowing that you have to allow them to do their work. Please stop controlling like you got to control the dynamic or the situation. Let them do their work. <laughs> Let them operate on behalf of you. Um, specifically when it comes to situations that's in your past. Okay. The battle card is coming up. So you might be feeling in conflict or feeling confused about what you need to be doing and how you need to be doing it. Um, there might be something that's coming up that's making you feel like you're in conflict with yourself in particular. This is not a time to be in conflict with yourself. You have to get gain clarity. And the reason that that's the main number one thing I need for you to do is because of the next card that's coming up. This is a time frame where you need to make sure you're sitting still and you're listening so you can gain clarity on how you are moving forward, okay? Um, we cannot manifest clear intentions. Um, that are in alignment with the higher self if you are not thinking clearly, okay? This is about thinking clearly so Aya Water can, can bring you the gifts that she brings. She seduces everything into your life. But that could be negative and positive or lessons and blessings is what we like to call it. That could be a lesson or a blessing. Be very clear and, and um, exact on how you're processing emotions right now so it's not clouding your judgment. This is definitely a time for you to sit still um, away from everybody so you can make sure that it's not anyone else's stuff that is coming into play. All right. You want to be in a space that you want to make sure that no one else stuff comes into play on your decision making. Um, this is about you, the wind, Baba Wind is coming up. And because of the cards that's aligned with yours right now, this is about how are you making decisions that are for you. So that's why, once again, you need to be by yourself so you can make sure you're making these choices for you and no one else. This ain't about nobody else. It's about you. All right. Lots and lots and lots of water energy in your reading, beloved. So with all of these water energies, there's a lot of emotions going on. In particular, visualization is going to be powerful for you at this moment in time as well. You want to make sure that you are taking the time to visualize yourself making clear decisions for you. No one else. Not for Queen, not for your mama, not for your siblings, not for nobody. This got to be about you. How is this serving you? How is this serving your higher self? Once you learn how to process that information you'll know what you need to do to pour into yourself because that's that ace of water card how am i pouring into me compared to me pouring into other people this is a selfish time you need to pour into you you need to focus on you all your choices and decisions need to be about you not nobody else what is going to be for you Blue Topaz is coming up for you as well, beloved. 
Do you feel the presence of the Divine Mother? Do you seek comfort and motherly love? Align the, with grace and the ever-present vibration of compassion. I swear you got this card before. Kindness and mercy. Decide to release issues and vibrate at a rate that emanates peace, love, and well-being. Open your mind to allow these miracles to manifest beyond your dreams. Mother Mary is the saint on the back. I am an instrument of peace and love. I honor the presence of the Great Mother. I invoke guidance for everyone, including myself, to embrace peace. I open my ears to hear guidance from the Divine Feminine. My heart is open to Divine Love. So you got Queen over there sitting with the I Am Love. And you over there saying that you open to the, and receptive to Divine Love. Y'all need to get that together. <laughs> you need to get it together. <laughs> all right work together work as a team beloved i say definitely if you work with irishas definitely um call on yimmy y'all right now yimmy y'all will be a really good energy for you to call on that's the mm -hmm. All right, mystical mountain goods making me feel like when y'all need to make sure y'all get that together. You're welcome, beloved. <laughs> Isis is like on her hind legs, like she'll put for y'all. She ain't gonna do it. She gonna. <laughs> You try to make sure you no, no. yeah. No, I'm to get <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay for me to get big, but you don't want to get big. You play smart. You gotta be smarter. <laughs> hey. You gotta be smarter. You gotta be quicker than that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is for mystical. mystical you got some interesting cards coming out hold on let me let me get your crystal okay. you gotta move all that stuff Damn, yeah that part you might be able to fix it okay so, Aya Water is coming up for you as well, beloved. And Aya Water, let me break down this because I don't know if you're somebody that's new. Um, but Aya Water represents um, the Divine Feminine. And what she tends to do, this particular one, she is, has the ability to basically seduce your dreams, your desires, um, what it is that you want into your life. The tricky part about Aya Water, okay, is that if you are not very clear, if you don't know exactly what it is that you want, or you have a mixed emotion about what it is that you want, she will seduce some stuff that you don't want to have. <laughs> this is like asking for a relationship and you like, oh, I want a man. Or, oh, I want a woman. Because I, by your name, I can't tell if you're a woman or a man. But, oh, I want a mate. My soulmate to come in. But that soulmate might be coming to teach you a real, real hard lesson because <laughs> you weren't clear about what you were asking for. So you want to be in a space that you say, I'm clear. That way, when she seduces this energy into your life, she's seducing exactly what's in alignment with your higher self and not with your lower self or your, your old vibrations, especially when it comes to your past. So there might be something that is dealing with um, old energy that's trying to come into your life. Be very clear if that's what you want right now. Be very clear if that's what you need. Make sure you're operating always from your higher self, always from a space, because if you are making the right choice or decision, or if you get in alignment with the energy that's right in order for her to do her work, what is going to happen is it's going to liberate you. 
there is going to be a sense of freedom, a sense of liberation that comes into your life because now you are operating in a my own self-love. How are you operating in your self-love? How are you operating in the things that are in alignment with who you are? Okay, not what everyone else wants. You another one. This is about self-love. This is about you're doing things that are going to be for you. You are so in tune with how to love yourself that everyone else knows how to respond and reciprocate the love that is on the level that you deserve. Not on that bull. Not on the old stuff. Okay? Make sure you stay on your journey. This is about your own personal journey. Your own journey back to yourself. Not about like career or any of that. This is about your journey to yourself. <laughs> you say you're not in alignment. I'm just saying like this is about you. So this is about you being very super intentional about only bringing things in your life that's in alignment with you getting back to who you are. Obstacles are going to come up. Be very creative about how you get around them. Understand that they're there for a reason. Okay, there might be a couple of pit stops, but don't let them get you off track. You have a destination to reach. You have an outcome to get to. <laughs> um, the crystal card is blue gold stone. Are you ready to be healthy, whole and complete? Do you feel the healing vibration within you? You have the capacity to heal any challenges or sickness that appear within you or in your surroundings. Set your intentions to strive towards enlightenment, to be free from the darkness of ignorance. It don't matter. Probably just sit it out there right now. Medicine Buddha is your actual saint. In the company of others, I am a healing presence. Peaceful blue vibrations are comforting and calming. I have compassion for myself and all loving, living beings. I am divinely protected and emanate feelings of safety. I release attachments, and I feel like this is for you specifically. I release attachments and align with love. Release the things that are holding you bondage. Release the things that you know are not serving you, beloved. Release all dynamics that are keeping you stagnant. This is about your own personal journey. This is about how you are growing, how you are moving forward, how you are um, creating a life that's in alignment for you. No one else, nothing else. So it sounds like the, the 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 universal tone for all of this is self-love. How are y'all doing things that are in alignment with you? How are you doing things that are going to help you discover your 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 journey, your personal journey, your self-love journey? All right. This is for most of y'all. All right. How can you get back in alignment? How can you, you know, the journey to self is a is a, an amazing one if you allow it to be. All right. <clears throat> okay, so let me see. Hold on, hold on. Y'all think y'all slick. <laughs> With these last little bit of uh, <laughs> um, readings. Okay. Let me see what time we're looking at. Okay. We might be able to get all of y'all. Uh -uh, that's something different. Um, Asha, you're welcome, beloved. So, Nurika, no, I don't know why I don't never remember yours. Rican 29. We're going to say Rican 29. Rican 29. You next one. Did a Nev piece ever come in? A Nev piece. Are you in here? I didn't see you. Nope. <laughs> I got my last three. 1800. Why you wait until now? 
I got my last three. I might do something tomorrow, though. Might. I said I was going to do something tomorrow night, but we'll see. Okay, so Baba Earth. Peace, everyone. Peace, peace, peace. Um, your love, life, and shambles. You need hope. <laughs> oh, that means you need to get your life in, in, in together. Your love, life, and shambles. That means you in shambles. What you doing? <laughs> um, Baba Earth um, is coming up for you, Rika. And that's all about being the master alchemist, the master dynamic that is actually working in this third dimension in this physical realm. You have to understand what it is that um, is connected to your past that's going to help you walk in, in, in this, this, this foundation and this strength. Okay. Yeah. You've had this before. Um, this is always bringing in the things that we want in this physical dimension. It has a wonderful aspect of giving us exactly what we want and what we need in the physical realm. How is this helping you in this realm? Okay. It's going to be connected to your past. Pay attention to your ancestry. Pay attention to something that maybe your family might have did before or something that you've been thinking about doing before now. It's going to be the key to how you unlock that energy operate in gratitude be very very thankful for what you have and where you are at at this moment in time because what you have and where you are at at this moment in time gives you the opportunity to go back and pull whatever this dynamic is in order to help you all right it's because of the energy that's connected to what you're doing right now but most importantly that's about whatever it is that you wanted to do before, ideals, thoughts before. Like I said, definitely go look. I keep hearing um, like it's something that you overlook and that's very connected to you from an um, ancestral past perspective, okay? Be thankful for what that energy represents for you right now. Almost like, y'all know I go left every once in a while. Almost like you really need to sit at your altar before the full moon or at the full moon i need you to sit at the altar and ask um for them to reveal what is it i i feel like you need to like not only ask for them to reveal what it is um if you don't know but um almost already say thank you thank you for what they've already done for you thank you for what they've already started to manifest in your life thank you for already doing the things that you don't even see it and ain't it ain't on your radar so almost like you're paying homage is what i feel okay stay on the path once you get it once you get it you need to lock and load once you understand exactly what it is that you're supposed to be doing lock and load on it and go don't worry about the stuff that try to come up and try to get you distracted because there's a lot of things that's going to try to keep you off track. There's a lot of things that's going to try to get you um, distracted from what it is that you are supposed to be doing. Don't let it get it. Don't let it get in the way. Um, this is about you really walking in uh, your power. You another one. I keep getting this, this self love card that came up at the bottom of the deck for y'all love do we need to do another self-love challenge y'all making me feel like we need to do another self-love challenge this is about loving yourself knowing what it takes to love yourself and walking your own thing green gold stone is your crystal beloved and it says do you wish for more love do you desire the safety of security maintain a mindset that you attract blessings hmm be assured that you have all the good fortune you need at your disposal. You have the power to overcome any negativity in any challenging situation. Remember and know that you are divinely protected. St. Patrick is on the back. I am so incredibly lucky. I am a champion with the ability to overcome any challenges in my life. 
Blessings in my life are plentiful. Abundance and prosperity continuously flow my way. I am safe and divinely protected. This is about you raising your personal vibration. You need to raise your personal vibration. Get yourself into a space that that energy is becoming very high so you can start attracting the things that are in alignment with you, beloved. Um, because of the reading, I just feel like you are allowing your vibration and your frequency to drop. Don't do that. We cannot get the things that we divinely deserve if we allow ourselves to go below our frequency. And we don't have time for that. Okay. Do the things that are going to help you get that vibration up. This is all about money for you, beloved. It's all about the money. <laughs> Securing the bag. So if you understand how to get your vibration back up, your your everything will start flowing the way it's supposed to. Everything will start attracting. So this abundance and this blessings cannot come in the way that they're supposed to come in for you if you don't get that frequency up. So that's what your intentions need to be set on. Release whatever is blocking your flow during this moon. You need to already be very intentional about, I got to release anything. Like, see that? Go on, go on and see it walking away. See an abundance of money being rained on you, however you want to visualize that. But most importantly, you want to be in a space that you say, I am thankful for what my ancestors are already doing for me. I'm thankful for what um, the universe is already aligning for me. Okay, Ashe. Um, oh, Lord. I don't even know who Fanny Goods is. Fanny's Goods, Brianna. Y'all think y'all slick. Everybody coming in here at the last minute. <laughs> Fanny Goods. That's what it says on Cash App. I don't know who that is. And Brianna. Fanny Goods and Brianna. Hmm. Ain't nobody saying nothing. I know. It's hours ago. Coach for life, you said I said so. I'm trying to get to the people who uh actually um already did their readings, did their donations. That's on the list that I that I can't go off the list right now. <laughs> My last minute donation people. Okay, well we gonna keep um I'm gonna go ahead and do their reading. I like to know that y'all on here so. We're going to do Fanny. Fanny Goods. Fanny Goods. Okay. Let's get it together. Fanny, <laughs> let's get into this. All right, so Fanny Goods, your whole thing is the mirror. The mirror card is coming up, especially when it comes to past things. So that means past situations and dynamics. And we in retrograde, so that's why it's a lot of interesting past energy that's trying to manifest at this moment in time. So, um, yes, normally, hold on, coach for life. Yes, normally you make a donation. And then you get put on the list for the readings. I'm full for tonight. Um, but I will be back on here either tomorrow or Monday, okay? Um, Fanny, the 
triggers that are coming up from the past. Um, pay attention to why they are here. What are they here to tell you? How are they showing you a sign of who you are and what you need to work on? Okay. When they are triggering you, normally this is a mirror for yourself. This is a mirror reflection of what it is that you need to work on and what you need to put in perspective. Pay attention to this. There's going to be a lot of energy that's trying to knock you off. That's trying to mess with your, your vibrations. That's just trying to get you distracted. The key to mastery and navigating this whole dynamic is going to be the shaman card. The shaman card is telling you spiritually, you need to lock in on your rituals, your routine. What are you doing from a spiritual perspective that is going to help you navigate this journey better? What are you doing from a spiritual perspective that helps you stay in alignment on a day-to-day -day basis? You need to lock in. You really need to get a mentor or someone um, that you can count on to help you stay on track, okay? Um, even if you don't have one, find information, really, really, really sit, okay, in it, really, really stay in a space that you allow yourself to really um, lock in on why all of this is happening. Because it's there to teach you a lesson. These things that are triggering and these things that are coming up are here to teach you a lesson. Be very mindful of what lesson they are. They're really trying to push you to your growth because the bottom of the deck is the resurrection card. The resurrection card is about us shedding our old self and aligning with our new self. So it's a beautiful outcome, but you got to do the work. So that means there's going to be a lot of self-work to do. There's going to be a lot of releasing that you need to do. Releasing old energy, old dynamics, the old you. So you can get into what this new you brings. Crystal card. You got the pirate. Okay. It says, are you ready to create miracles in a new reality? Do you know that you can easily create a wonderful shift in your life? That's basically what I just said. <laughs> Get ready because your dreams are about to become a reality. Don't stop short. Keep moving forward and trust the process. You are a miracle worker. St. Nicholas is on the back and it says, I create miracles in my life. Many people with abundant funds need my goods or services that I offer. I consciously create circumstances to fulfill my dreams and my destiny. I am open to abundance and recognize the value in work, great and small. Fanny, this is a time, beloved, that you need to make sure you're in a space that you, um, like I said, do that work so you can embrace this new shift that's happening. You are in a very powerful transformation um, portal in your life. If you work it right and you're being very intentional on doing the work, paying attention to them triggers and not just popping off. But actually saying, wait a minute, before I respond, let me let me take this back. Let me see how this relates to me. Because I'm mad at you because of me. This ain't got nothing to do with you. All right? This is all about that person. All right? Let me see who else. Um... Brianna is the only one that I see. <laughs> I can't today. Only you could tell. Y'all kill me when y'all come on here and be like, tell me something I don't know about myself. <laughs> you supposed to know. <laughs> You have more power and capability of tapping into who you are and what it is that you need to know and hear more than I do. I'm just open and receptive to it. But you have the same power that I have. Ooh, Brianna. All this fire energy. Let me see. Let me get one more, one more, y'all. Hmm. 
you got a lot of divine feminine popping off for you, Brianna. So this is the card that you need to pay attention. You got the fire card that's popping up. And this is Oh My Fire. She's the young energy of fire. So this is all about being very confident in my walk. Almost having too much confidence and having a little ego to the side. <laughs> but knowing that whatever it is that you are trying to do or that you are walking in or that you might have wanted to do this is the time to execute this is the time to stand in your power okay beloved this is the time to go ahead and demand the universe to go ahead and put it in play all right but be very okay she didn't do it. um be very um conscious of how you are um operating and making sure that you are not allowing ego to block your blessings. Make sure your mouth don't get you in trouble. Um, don't put yourself in no situation where you're too cocky and too overly in your in your your confidence. <laughs> know that you can be strong and confident without being rude or without um, being in a space where you're not being receptive to somebody that can help you. Uh, specifically that might be from your past this is a time for you to walk in the room and shift the energy you have so much power in you at this moment in time that you need to be able to walk in the room and shift the whole dang on room okay shift it to a point where people like god dang who is that i need to know who they are all right this is a very strong powerful moment for you do not allow the energy to confuse you or to um, make you feel like you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Stand in your power, but just understand how to be humble at the same time. Isis Quartz is coming up, so that means you have the ability to speak things into existence. Isis Quartz is saying, are you trying to make a change in your life? Are you willing to change the way that you look at things? That's ego. Open your mind to the unlimited possibilities, the both seen and unseen. Use your intuitive skills to expand your potential realities and your ability to see it. So your ability to visualize. Isis is your mystic or we're going to say goddess <laughs> on the back. I accept life's impermanent nature and embrace the grieving process. I welcome the transitions that occur at a natural part of life. I adapt to my changing environment. I learn much from the experience of change. I assist people who who are challenged by changes. This is a time frame to be a, a instrument of transformation. So not only um, implementing what is going to transform you and your life at this moment in time because of the power that you possess at this moment, but being able to help other people um, do the things that they need to do as well. As you move forward. Okay, beloved. Um, it's a very strong, powerful. You have like all the strong, super warrior type goddess energy um, surrounding you right now. So you want to make sure that you operate in that energy uh, on a whole nother level. Okay. All right. So it's probably about to count me down. Um, I probably will come back on after seven again tomorrow to do more readings um for this full moon this whole video will be saved but it'll also be posted on my youtube if you are not following me on youtube is she is magic or she is magical she is magic i believe <laughs> on um youtube and um most of the readings will be downloaded on there all right i love you guys i will that you have an amazing night um and I will see y'all tomorrow. Peace.